Okay. Welcome again. Right now we're doing a special video. We're going to talk about di dividing up the promised land. How was the promised land divided? And we're going to make a video just for that to help you understand chapter 13 verse 17 to chapter 14 verse 1. Okay? Only that. Going to be covered. 13 verse 17 to 14 verse 1. Get your paper, get your pencils, get everything ready for the word, okay? Thank you. And as you're getting yourself ready, take the time to share this video, like this video, and subscribe to our page so you can know when the next time we do another special video just for you, so you can learn the word of God. So let's start with the reading. 17. With Heshbon and all his town that are in the Tabulin, Dibon and Bamoth Bayal, and Beth Baal Meon, 18, and, ja, and ja, Jahaz and Mezimoth, and Mephat, and Kiwithiam, and Sibma, and Zero Shama, and the hill of, hill of the valley, the Beth Peor, and the slope of Pisgah, and Beth Jeshimoth, that is all the towns of the Tabalin, and all the kingdoms of King Sihon of the Amorites, who reigned in Hesh Heshbon, whom Moses defeated with the leaders of Midian, Evi, and Rekon and Zu and Hu and Reba as prince of Sihon and her as and Reba as prince of Sihon who live in the land along with the rest of those they put to death the Israelites also put to the sword Balaam son of Beor who practiced divination and the border of the Reubenites with the Jordan in his bank. This was the inheritance of the Reubenites according to their families with their town and villages. 24. Moses gave an inheritance also to the tribe of the Gadites according to their families. Their territories was, was Jazer and all the towns of Gilead and half of the land of Amorites to Aware, which is east of Rabah, 26, and from Heshbon to Ramoth, Mizpah, and Betumen, and from Mahanaim to the territories of Debir, and in the, in the valley of Beth Harem, Beth Nemra, Sakoth, and Zappa. Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of King Sihon of Heshbon, the Jordan and his bank, as far as the lower end of the sea of Shinaret, eastward beyond the Jordan. This is the inheritance of the Gadites according to their clans with the towns and villages. Moses gave an inheritance to the half tribe of Manasseh. It was allotted to the half tribe of Manasseh according to their families. Their territory is ex extended from Mahanaim through Or Bashan, the whole kingdom of King Og of Bashan, and all the sediment of Jer, which are in Bashan, sixty towns, and half of Gilead, and Ashtaroth. And Edre, the town of the kingdoms of Og and Bashan. These were allotted to the people of Mashir, son of Manasseh, according to their clan, the half of the Masherite. 32. These are the inheritance that Moses distributed in the plain of Moab, beyond the Jordan, east of Jericho. But to the tribe of Levi, Moses gave no inheritance, 
the Lord God of Israel is their inheritance, as he said to them. 14 verse 1. These are the inheritance that the Israelites receive in the land of, of Canaan, which the priests Eleazar and Joshua, son of Nun, and the head of the family of the tribe of the Israelites distributed to them. Okay? Now, 13, 17 to 14, verse 1. Talk about dividing up the promised land. Okay? The geographical information in Joshua 13, all the way down to Joshua 19. I told you from Joshua 13, Joshua 13, all the way to to Joshua 19 is a continuation reading. It goes together. Okay? The geographical inform information in Joshua 13 to all that to Joshua 19 comes in two forms. Tribal boundary descriptions and town lists. The town lists are mostly Derived from the administrative source from a period later than the event described in Joshua. The difference between tribal town lists is, list is particularly clear when you read Joshua 15 verse 20 to verse 62. It's a long one, so please read it. Verse 20 to verse 62. And also, when you read Joshua 18, verse 21 to verse 28. I'll read that one for you. It's kind of shorter. Verse 21 to verse 28. Now, the town of the tribe of Benjamin, according to their families, were Jericho, Beth Hogla, Amek, Amek Keriz, Beth Araba, Zamarim, Bethel, Avem, Para, Opera, Shefa, Amani, Amoni, Opni, and give in. Geba, 12 towns with their families, Gibeon, Rama, Birot, Mispeh, Shepura, Moza, Rekem, Ipil, Tarala, Zela, Halef, Jebus, that is Jerusalem, Jebus. Gi Gibia and Kiriot Jerem, fourteen towns with their villages. This is a health test of the tribe of, Mala, of tribe of Benjamin, according to his families. Okay. Now, I hope you like this. We talk about the lives of Benjamin, verse 11, from verse 11 to verse 28. Talk about the lives of Benjamin, but we concentrate it on verse 21 to verse uh, 28. Okay? Its boundaries are described in a counterclockwise direction in verse 11 to verse 20. The north border parallel, that is Ephraim. Ephraim, that is when you look at Joshua 16, verse 1 to 13. Now, the south border parallel, that's on verse 15 to 19. We didn't read that, but, you know, 
when you look at that, it's on verse 15 to 15, chap chapter Joshua 15, verse 5 to verse 9. All right? It said, Judah's north border, but is given in a reverse direction west to east. Now, 21 to 28, talk about Benjamin to this to district comes from the same source as those of Judah. According to Joshua 15, verse 21 to verse 62, Benj Benjamin was split by the breakup of Israel after Solomon's death. And one king, verse 12, this district describes towns located in the northern kingdom. Manu review verse 25 to verse 28. This district consists of towns located in the kingdom of Judah. Okay? Now, kingdom of Judah. The reading was good. I hope you had learned something. The the dividing up of the promised land. We we took it we took time to, to to talk about chapter 15 when we did chapter 18. There's you know the verses was in was in there. Okay. So Hopefully you, you you take time during the day, read chapter 15 of, of Joshua, read chapter 18 of Joshua, read, read chapter, read from 13 down to 19. That way you cover the whole section of the inheritance. But if you don't, do not have time, read chapter 15, read chapter 18, and, you know, I just you, 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 and, and read it and meditate on it and hopefully you all understand it but I like to read it all the way through from all the way through that way you know exactly what goes next you know that's the secret of knowing what goes next and how to we'll explain it because if, if you go halfway through the story you may not know so it's best to go you know line by line chapter by chapter and review it that way that's my suggestion. You don't have to do it, but that's my suggestion to you. Okay? So that was the dividing up the promised land. And tomorrow we're going to do 14. Prelude to land distribution. Yes. It's going to be good. Chapter 14 is very short, so we're going to do that tomorrow. It's only 15 verses, so it's very short, very good. And you're going to learn a lot, okay? For those to learn distri land distribution, okay? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord watch over you. Shalom. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to our page. And if you can, donate to our ministry. Every penny counts when you're helping those in need. Shalom. Peace.